for the Strumming 101 video, just take you through the very, very basics um, of rhythm playing. We're doing this with the plectrum. You can do it with your thumb as well, but we're going to concentrate on the plectrum because in rock and blues playing, it mainly, mainly, not all the time, but mainly is uh, played with a plectrum. We've got a little video on uh, how to hold the plectrum to take a look at, but for this, all we're going to do is run the plectrum across those strings from the thickest E string through to the thinnest E string. We're just going to let the plectrum slowly and gently fall across the strings. That's one uh, major problem that we all face when we start off. We try and hit the strings too hard and we're all tense. Um, and it sounds awful. So remember, nice and gently, softly, smoothly, just let the plectrum fall across the strings. You can see the plectrum moving across the strings individually. Okay. And if we were to just quiet that down, if we were doing to play the strings individually, you can hear that they all sound nice and clear. done that four times that'd be a basic four four time rhythm one two three four in rhythm plan as well um, as you start your rhythm course you'll see that there are upstrokes um, incorporated when you perform an upstroke obviously it's just bringing the plectrum up to yourself across the strings but we don't have to bother with catching all the strings because it, it just doesn't sound right. An upstroke by its very nature is there to lighten the sound. So as long as you catch the top three or so strings, no hard and fast rule here, that's fine, okay? If I um, show you that. So on the third beat, one, two, Three, then we're going to put an and in, which is the upstroke, then down. And you can hear how light that stroke is. So if you just remember that an upstroke only has to have the top three or so strings, you don't have to rake that across like that. You will do for an effect. Uh, certain times and for certain tunes, but but in this rhythm plan, just a nice light upstroke. Why well, it's important to keep um, your rhythm strumming very light and soft and relaxed is as we introduce more upstrokes, the strumming hand becomes quicker. And you don't want this hand, arm, shoulder, neck, all to tighten up, which it will do if you've got too much tension and you're gripping too much. I mean, it's a natural thing to do when we start off. Um, but if you can keep it as light as you can from the start, then you'll get into that um, a lot easier and quicker. So I'll turn the volume down. You see it's all very light. And the strumming hand is like a metronome really, it's this constant rhythm going on. And then you're deciding when and where you're hitting the strings and when you're putting an upstroke in. And you can see that a lot of the movement for the strumming is actually from the wrist, in my case. Um, it's, it is the arm going up and down, but you also have like a twisting sort of action on the wrist. So. Okay, so that's why you keep it nice and gentle, nice and soft. There are times when we'll want to play our rhythms harder. That's when they call dig into the guitar. But that's 
when we want it for musical effect. Not all the time because we're so tense that um, the veins in our um, forehead are just about to pop. So nice and soft and gentle. Don't try and strum the strings off of the uh, fretboard. Just hold a chord, doesn't matter. I mean, you could actually strum without holding any chord form down at all, but that doesn't sound musical. So um, put whatever chord you want on. I've got a, a G major open chord on here. While we're here, what you've also got to do is I kind of G major open chord, I can strum all the strings as I can with an E minor. But when I go to say something like a D major open chord, then I strum from the D string. This is all shown in the chord boxes as we go along through our lessons and our courses. But that's when you have to be quick at changing where you actually strum from. There's the G to the E minor is fine because that's the same amount of strings. Then when we go to the D, we actually go from that open D string. So that's something to bear in mind as well. And then sometimes we're from the fifth string on that A minor chord. Okay, but keep, whatever you're doing, keep it all nice and gentle, nice and soft. Nice and relaxed. Get that little curl going in the wrist and things will come along quite quickly for you. I want to have a look at how the wrist curls with rhythm. But that's not all that happens because as you can see from arm here, I mean, you don't see many guitarists doing that. And let's be honest, your wrist did seize up and fall off within about 10 minutes. So you also move the whole of your arm from your elbow joint and your arm is resting against that the body of the guitar there. So you can see that he's moving from there as well. So your upper arm isn't moving hardly at all. It's all coming from the elbow down to the wrist and through to the plectrum. Can you see how that's moving? You do see some people really move it. Um, you're not going to be doing that too much with the rock and blues that we're going to be playing. It's going to be more in this kind of, you know, Creedence, John Fogarty kind of rhythm technique. Tom Petty, who at this time has just left us, bless him. Okay, so it's a whole sort of lower arm wrist action nice and relaxed nice and gentle nice and flowing and you should be okay